Hey everybody, Prepper Princess here. So I just want to say that I know that times are really scary right now, but there are still deal deals to be had, even pre-pandemic prices, uh, even years pre-pre-pandemic prices. So I wanted to go over a couple of things. Um, you've got to keep your eye out. You know, look for the yellow tags, the sales, uh, reduced meat sections, all those sort of things. I do want to give you a couple of examples. So this is dish soap, Myers dish soap. These are usually like 4.50 or something like that. I got this for 19 cents. I'm not exaggerating, 19 cents, and I have the receipts to prove it. Uh, but this was this is a pine scented one uh, that I think it was on clearance at like Home Depot or something like that. And I saw the tags, I grabbed as many as I could, 19 cents, you really can't beat that. And we all know that expenses typically are not unexpected. You know every year when Christmas is coming, you know every year when your property tax bill is coming, so those not, are not unexpected expenses. I do all of my Christmas shopping throughout the year, and then I wrap up the presents, and at Christmas time it's kind of cool because I'm just as surprised as the person who's getting the gift. But I did get a couple of things. Uh, pay no attention, I'm not even gonna show you the closet, that's embarrassing. Hold on. So I even filmed it, but I got a couple of really nice throws for $6 each. And I also got some really fancy looking soaps. This is just, Hold on, sorry about that. Okay, so so a couple of other things. So I got uh, these hand soaps. So the other one was dish soap. I got the hand soap for 19 cents. These don't expire for several years. And this one is also pine scented. So uh, pine scented Christmas gift. You can see where I'm going with this. So I've got a, a couple of these. Also, these were on clearance for like a dollar and it's glass. You hear that? So glass bottles, I got a bunch of these. And the great thing about this is you can make your own little box and you can shred newspaper and then you can cover it in that wrapping stuff and Ziploc it, make it look like it's done professionally. And you know, it's, it's a really nice gift and it's lemon verbena, ooh, fancy. All right, so there's still deals to be had. And then if we go back into the kitchen, not showing you my closet, don't even try. So going back into the kitchen now, it, the best way to save money on groceries is, is to simplify your meals, very simple meals. You know, instead of getting Subway sandwiches, make your own sandwiches, but you can also go for cheaper type sandwiches like peanut butter and jelly, stuff like that. But, so here's just a couple examples of what I do at Kroger. So I got almost 12 pounds of whole chicken for 9.32. Okay, so I've got two chickens here for less than 10 bucks. And, oh my goodness, it's heavy. Oh, I'm gonna break my freezer. But these deals can still be found. Excuse me for a second. And it's not just on chicken, it's also on meat. So one of the things that I do is I love to make beef jerky. And it's also part of my Christmas giving because everyone loves my beef jerky. So I made beef jerky. And the great thing about beef jerky is I use London broil, which was one of the cheapest cuts of meat, depending on where you are. Here on the West Coast, London broil is typically the cheapest type of meat. And it makes this amazing, amazing beef jerky okay amazing it's really good and it lasts me two or three weeks and that's that's my lunch like three weeks for i would say twenty dollars worth of meat makes me three weeks worth of protein and then i'll just add vegetables and some maybe like ranch dressing or something and that can be my lunch if i'm hungry but i'm usually only one meal a day and I seem to have lost the wind muff on my microphone. Dog on it. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. Probably not very good. <laughs> Probably not very good. 
Um, and you know, I don't want you guys to be demoralized by the high prices because yes, things are going up. I'm finding at the grocery store that the majority of the things that are going up in price are packaged and processed food. So things like your, your TV dinners, your, your sausage, egg, McMuffin, ish type breakfast cereals, your pre-made waffles that you just stick in the toaster. Um, and then I'm seeing like uh, those bags of pre-cut chicken fillets or fish fillets. Um, and, and you know, it's just all, it's all pre-packaged stuff. Now most people don't think of chicken fillets as pre-packaged, but it is. If you buy a whole chicken versus chicken fillets, you're gonna be paying about three or four times more per pound Sorry, not three or four times more, but you know what I'm. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. More than you would if you would do it yourself with a whole chicken. Uh, and another way that you can do it is you can add rice to your meals. You can add, you know, noodles to your meals, beans. So instead of having steak burritos, maybe you have some black bean burritos. I've I've already made videos on that. Black beans, rice, cheese. You can make fajitas, and I think I'm going to show you guys eventually different ways that you can just simply cut your meat to make it look like there's more so that your family won't complain that they're getting less meat. So you can make your meat last longer just by the way that you cut it, which is like, nobody ever really thinks about that. Um, but I got the idea from the Asian cultures where they use less meat in their meals, but it looks like they're getting a totally full serving and it just looks very appetizing and amazing. All right, folks. So don't be demoralized. The deals are still out there. You got to keep your eyes open and you got to just uh, simplify your meals. You know, uh, oatmeal for breakfast is very cheap. Pancakes for breakfast, very cheap. Toast and eggs, so cheap. You know, you can put jam on your toast. You can put butter on your toast, peanut butter on your toast. Uh, bananas, very cheap, very, very cheap and very healthy for you. All of these things are very good for you. Uh, so, you know, don't be demoralized. You might not be able to get chicken fried steak for breakfast or, you know, eight strips of bacon. So maybe take your eight strips and turn it into four or take your four strips and turn it into two or take your four, cut them in half and turn it back into eight and then hand it to your husband and he thinks he's got eight. He's a happy camper. So just a, a few thoughts, folks. So I didn't want you to be saddened, demoralized. You can still do it. Uh, you just gotta start getting more creative with your meals. And remember that Americans waste almost half of the food that they buy. It all gets shoved to the back of the refrigerator. It gets moldy, it goes bad, and then it goes in the garbage. So make sure that you're pulling everything to the front of your refrigerator and using everything up before it goes bad. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. Christmas shopping in April. Time to wake up. Time to wake up.